while waiting. Many years ago, before cell phones even, my husband would pick me up after work. He'd call and say, I'll be there in 15 minutes. He thought I would be waiting when he drove up. But often I was still inside working. He would wait. Then there were days when I would be waiting and he was late. Neither of us was good at waiting. One day I was especially resentful when out of nowhere I heard a gentle voice saying, Why don't you praise God for your husband being late? My response was immediate, Are you crazy? I don't feel like praising God for my husband being late. The gentle voice continued. You know that feelings have nothing to do with it. Praise is an act of the will. Furthermore, you have been reading all those books by Merlin Carruthers about how praise changes things. Oh, drat. The voice was right. Reading those books had convinced me. I believe that praising God for a situation somehow changed that situation. But it just didn't seem possible that I could do it. Could I? I would. I opened my mouth, but nothing came out. I had to stand up in order to speak. Through clenched teeth, I said, Thank you, God. I took a deep breath. Thank you, God, for my husband being late. Thank you, God, for my husband being late. Thank you, God, for my husband being late. This was hard. It was taking all the willpower I had. Thank you, God, for my husband being late. Thank you, God, for my husband being late. Thank you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God, for my husband being late. Praise you, God. Praise you, God, for my husband being late. Praise you, God. Praise you, God, for my husband being late. It was getting easier. Praise you, God. Praise you, God, for my husband being late. Praise you. Praise you, God. Just then, I looked up and saw the most amazing sunset. It was as if the door to heaven had been opened. And just at that moment, an idea entered my head. When we take the garbage, the negative stuff, that comes into our lives, and offer it up to God as if on an altar, and then set it on fire with a match of praise, Praising God for it. Then somehow God uses our trust to transform that negative energy into positive energy worth 10 to 100 times the power of the negative energy. Like those power plants that convert garbage into electricity. God sends that power off to be used, maybe in our life, maybe somewhere else in the cosmos. What a thought! When my husband finally came, I bounced up to the car, threw open the door, and said, Hi, love! My husband almost fell out of the car. The next day, I could hardly wait for him to be late. But from then on, our timing was almost perfect. The End More at MindShifts.com